Whether you're Gen X, Gen Y or Gen Z, chances are that you've heard of Regen. Now, Regen stands for Regenerative Braking and it's actually a pretty cool bit of technology. Now, before we get to what regenerative braking is, let me first tell you what the regular or the friction brakes do. If you're going down a highway at, for example, 60 kilometers per hour and you squeeze the brake lever or you press the brake pedal, what happens is that the brake pads, they squeeze the brake discs and the kinetic energy of your vehicle is converted into heat by the way of friction and you come to a stop. Simple, right? And it is actually pretty simple. But if it really is that simple, why do you need regenerative brakes? The answer is wastage. It takes a lot of energy to get your car or motorcycle or scooter moving. And then when you come to a stop, all of that energy is completely wasted when you use the friction brakes in the form of heat. And this is where regenerative brakes come in. Now, long-time Formula 1 fans might remember of something known as KERS, K-E-R-S. It stands for Kinetic Energy Recovery System. And that system and today's regen brakes work on the same principle. It's a way to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy and then store it for future use. Now, how does it work? Basically, the motor that is usually drawing power from the battery to spin up and propel you forward is now working as a generator. That generator is being spun up by the wheels and it's sending power back to the battery that you can use later. Now, the easiest way to picture this is something like one of those decathlon torches that you spin up and then it lights up without any battery. That is the generator system working. Now, the more kinetic energy you have, the more energy you will be able to recover, which is why generally a bigger, faster electric vehicle like the Mercedes EQS, for example, will be able to regenerate more energy or more percentage of its energy as compared to a smaller EV. Let's say, for example, the Tata Tiago EV. Electric scooters and electric motorcycles actually have even less kinetic energy, which is why their region systems will be less effective. It's also the reason why region systems are less common on electric two-wheelers as opposed to electric cars. You can usually notice region coming into play when you lift off the throttle on your electric vehicle and you feel as if the car has its brakes on, but it really doesn't have its brakes on. That retardation that you feel is the generator being charged up and sending power back to the wheels. Now, some vehicles will allow you to adjust those levels of region so you can have a very light region or a very aggressive region where the car slows down much more. Some cars even have a single pedal driving mode where you don't really need to use the physical brakes at all. You actually just use the accelerator pedal. How does this work? Basically, if you take the full range of the accelerator pedal motion, 0% to 100%, Somewhere down the middle at about 50% is the difference between accelerating and braking. So if you're going at 60 kilometers per hour and you have your throttle at 60%, you would only be accelerating very gently. And then when your throttle is at 40%, you would actually be slowing down. It's a way to make electric car driving easier. Now, because you're not using your friction brakes, this is another advantage of the region brakes that the friction brakes are not used as much and the wear and tear is reduced. Now, if regenerative brakes really are that good, why do electric cars still have physical brakes on them? The answer is because regenerative brakes, as good as they are, they can't be used in emergency braking situations where you need a lot of braking force. For that, physical brakes still need to be put into the cars. Physical brakes are also there for slippery conditions, so regen systems can't distribute the brake force across the wheels, and for that, the physical brakes need to come into play. Another small disadvantage of the region system is that currently they can't really regenerate 100% of the power, so there is still some percentage of energy loss. Now, one final small niggle I personally have with region systems is the brake blending, and it's not always smooth. What is brake blending, you ask? Well, basically, Cars with regen brakes will use the regen brakes up to a certain point of braking force. And after that, if you still need more braking force, they will then bring the physical brakes into action. But this transition is not always seamless and that can make the brakes feel a bit unnatural to use. But aside from that, regen systems are awesome. They're a great way to regenerate the energy that would otherwise be completely lost. Now, if you haven't ridden or driven an EV with regen brakes, you will probably soon do. And when you do, 
Now you know how they work.